gonna sting it. That might have gone in. y'all are having a wonderful day i'm out here at inverness country club here in birmingham alabama this course is awesome hope y'all are going to enjoy following along going to vlog 18 holes on this video this is going to be the front nine here at inverness the second nine the back nine will be in a separate video that i'll post right after this one hope you enjoy we're going to get out there perfect weather perfect day Swing is feeling good. We're gonna be a little aggressive in this round. I wanna see if we can take this low. So if we've got a decent look at a pin on a par five, we're gonna be going for it. And you know, as long as it's not a poor decision, we're gonna be attacking every pin location today. Gonna to take you to the first tee. Hope you enjoy following along. Well, let's take it low. Number one. Par four, 388 yards from the tips. Yes, we are gonna be tipping this bad boy out today. So we wanna see what this course has got, what kind of teeth it has from all the way back. Literally, I'm um, about three feet off the back edge of the back rough. We're gonna let it fly. That was a little right, but I think it got a very good bounce. Kick left. We're gonna go up there and find it. Maybe it was my imagination that it kicked left. Hopefully it was not. I think that was my imagination that it bounced hard left. That did not really bounce hard left. Kinda stayed right where it landed. 85 yards from here, lob wedge. landed right there rolled to the back edge about 40 feet left from here all right four on number one number two part five the back box is being resodded, so we are going to have to move up one box from the back edge of this box. It's about 530 yards from there. Dead straight away, bombs away with the D rod. Really happy with that driver's swing. I have 189 left to a back pin. That means I hit that drive just about 350 yards. Really happy with that swing. If we can swing like that today, we're gonna put ourselves in great shape for scoring on the par fives. That was pretty much a perfect number for my seven iron. Could just smooth it there. About 190 is about a full seven iron for me. And there, didn't have to swing hard. Just a nice smooth swing seven iron. Gives us a good look at an eagle. Easy tapping birdie. Hundred and seventy-eight yards from here. Should just be a full eight iron. Number three, par three.
thought that was going to keep breaking down the hill. Didn't think it was going to stop there. That is a par on three. Stinger club time. Number four, par four, 395 yards. We going to sting it. Not exactly sure what happened there with the camera focus. I apologize. The focus on the camera on that last wedge shot was trash. Hopefully we'll try not to let that happen again. Had 133 yards, little gap wedge, hit it about 10, 15 feet just behind the hole. I thought that one was going to go a little right. Good speed. That's a quick down the hill putt there. That is a four on number four. Number five, part four, about 425 yards from here, dead straight away, kind of goes up the hill, then back down the hill to the green for the approach shot. Number six, par three, 193 from here. Got seven iron in hand. We're gonna go right at this pin. Yeah, said we're gonna be aggressive. Don't really wanna miss it left, but you got a little green to work with. We're just taking dead aim. the best seven iron swing I've seen from myself before. Number seven, par four. Back box is getting resodded, so we did have to move up to this box. Playing about 350 yards from here. A little up the hill. I don't really see any other reason why not to hit driver. Pin is back. Even if we're just short of the bunker, which we probably will be, should just be a little easy chip up and in, in, in for our second birdie of the day. on number seven, two under on today's round. Number eight, par five, 556 yards. Dead straight away, see if we can't pick up another bird. Maybe give us an eagle look. Two 
245 left from here to a right pin. It's kind of tucked around the corner of those trees. So I'm going to try to hit a high cut with the hybrid. It's a little into the breeze. Should be a good number with this club. Pushed that just a bit right. Have a little work to do to get our birdie. A little short-sighted. See if we can't get it up and down. Car there on eight. Two under through eight. One hole left for this upload, number nine, par four, playing about 395 from these tees. Pretty much dead straight away. You do want to favor the right side because the ball kicks severely to the left. So a little cut into the right side of the fairway is ideal. like a foot into the right rough. It is on the left side of the fairway. Hit it well. 85 yards, front pin, there's a little backstop there, so I can throw it a few yards past. It'll come back towards the hole. A little uphill, should just be a full stock lob wedge. Let's knock it close. That might have gone in. My divot in line with the hole, I mean, that ball came within inches of going in. Boom, that's the way to end the nine. Let's go. That is it. That is the front nine out here at Inverness Country Club. Had so much fun. Played some good golf, shot three under 33. Let's see, birdies on two, seven, and nine. Love ending the turn with a birdie. 33 on the front nine, ready to head to the back nine. Back nine is gonna be a separate upload. That's gonna be it for this video. Really hope you all enjoyed getting a look at Inverness Country Club down here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's a great track. So thankful to get out here and play some golf. Hope you all enjoyed coming along. If you like this kind of content, please throw a little like up there. Subscribe below and comment, you know, what you'd like to see in future posts. Any, you know, advice, any um, feedback that I can get on how I shot this course vlog would be greatly appreciated. Guys, until next time, we'll see you when we see you.